Continuing your election 2022 coverage, concerns of voter intimidation at the polls are at a high level heading into tomorrow's midterm election. 11 Alive was actually tipped off that the possibility that it was happening in Gwinnett County. We checked it out and learned that people camped outside of Lucky Shoals Park Community Recreation Center in Norcross were allegedly telling voters that they're brainwashed before they went in to vote. The images show the people wearing shirts that say election security on them. A spokesperson for Gwinnett County says the people in these pictures were not county employees, but they could be there under their First Amendment right as long as they maintained the distance the state requires. The Brennan Center for Justice from New York University is looking at Georgia and nine other states when it comes to voter intimidation. The nonprofit Law and Public Policy Institute put together guides for voters to defer to so that they know what their rights are when they go to cast a ballot. Voter intimidation can go beyond what takes place at the polls but can also include robocalls, mailers and flyers, depending on the message being sent. The Brennan Center says the project is to remind voters that they have every reason to go to the polls on Tuesday. We have seen voter intimidation in various forms um, in, in, in a large part of U.S. history. And so I think that's not new. Um, but I do think this year there's sort of a new reason to be concerned about what we're seeing that what we're seeing voters and election officials and what they may face this year in particular. Under Georgia law, anyone found guilty of voter intimidation can face up to 10 years in prison and up to a $100,000 fine.